Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you very quickly and a very easy way for you to create the QR code using the PowerPoint add-in. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see over here we have, I have the three different QR codes. The QR code that leads you to the Google map of Savannah Public School in Bosat campus. This is the video about how to create channel, uh, the Telegram channel, and this is the link to the useful knowledge Telegram channel. So in fact, you don't have to use any sophisticated software in order to create this amazing QR code. Now um, let's get started one more time. So first of all, you have to make sure you have the PowerPoint installed, I mean the Microsoft Office install, which includes the Microsoft uh, Words, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, uh, etc. Okay, and then uh, the second thing is that make sure you have the internet uh, available, otherwise it will not work. Because this um, add-in requires the internet access so that, you know, it can interacts with the server I, I guess okay so let's say you have these two things already the PowerPoint are the available there and also the internet uh, is available there so what you have to do next is in your PowerPoint uh, you also can do the same things in other products of Microsoft like Excel or, 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 or Microsoft Word okay let's go to insert and then you have to go to get in uh, get uh, get add-ins click on it and over here you will see a search box so you will have to type QR for office and then hit enter or press on the search icon over here and after that you will see the QR for office um, add-in appears so click on add click on continue well now you have it available on your PowerPoint and also in your word as well so uh, if you next time want to use it you don't have to go and do uh, you know repeat the process just go to my add-ins here and click on the drop-down list over here and then you will see um, the add-ins that you have recently used now let's say I want to show you how to create the, the QR code like this uh, of the map so that um, your customers or maybe the target people um, can scan your QR code and then they're able to uh, you know get access to the information that you want them to so let's say now I open the uh, map on my computer and then this is the location of Savannah Public School, as you can see. So it's right here. It's in the cap. It is in the city of uh, Posad Province. Okay. And then you also can, you know, copy the whole link on the um, URL search box over here, or you just simply click on Share, and then click on Copy Link. And now you can copy the easy and short link like this, and then go to PowerPoint. And then you will have to make some configuration over here. So um, you will have to click on the drop down menu over here and then choose custom. And in the box over here, do right click and choose the word paste, or you simply use the shortcut keys, which are control plus V. And then, okay, there are two things that you need to know as well about sizing. So this allows you to create a bigger size. So when you, you know, when you you, you, you copy it to the other document, it's easy for um, the the people who use a smartphone or tablet or iPad to scan and get access easily. And also look at error correction. So if you use the larger one, it's going to you know help the um, the people who scan uh, can avoid. Uh, problem okay so okay that's up to you but by default it's going to be medium but uh, it's okay to use you know um, high okay so you can avoid the, the problem as much as possible because it creates the easy um, easy for the smartphones camera to recognize the QR code and then click on 
insert. Okay, and now you can use it for getting people to just scan using their their their, their camera because let's say I think some of you might notice, but some of you might not. You don't have to download the scanner, the QR code scanner, things like that. Because right in your camera, there is the built-in AI or artificial intelligence camera, which you just bring it out and turn on the camera. And after that, uh, you notice that your camera captures something that uh, is telling you you have to click on it so that you can get access to that information. So. In case you're using the traditional phones, then it's okay. You can download the uh, QR code scanner, but um, you should test first with your just your your camera, the built-in camera on your phone right away. Okay. So um, over here, you can size it, and let's say if you want to save it as a image file, then that's quite easy. Let's do right click and after that click on save as picture and then find a location and name it so that you can easily remember it and then click on save and then you're good to go because I already have the same name so let's say I change it to oops Google map hit enter all right and now let's say you want to make it blue like this so this is the preview and this is the color of the dark area the dot area so if you want to change it to blue click on blue it's gonna be blue and the background color usually it's white but if you want to change to other colors of your preference let's do it and if you want to have the logo uh, on this that is fine just make sure the logo won't be big if it is too big, it's going to cover some uh, parts of the QR code, which blocks the the, the, the scanner from recognizing um, the QR code. All right, so this is about creating the Google Map. How about if you want to create YouTube a QR code for YouTube, QR code for Telegram? It's gonna apply the same method. So let me show you one more way. So let's say I want people to scan, and after that, they can get access to. Um, the telegram uh, channel so this is my telegram channel useful knowledge and I already get access to the link so copy the link and then let's go to PowerPoint one more time and over here you will have to the same go to custom and delete this and paste with the new link okay and then you can customize a different color that's your preference okay and if you feel it's done then let's click on insert all right if you want to change the color delete this one and choose the color of your interest okay and then click insert and now it's going to be the QR code which you yourself created it okay it's free and it's convenient to use okay so and the same if you want to create the link for YouTube okay let's go to YouTube Okay, so let's say this is my video that I make the same thing about QR code in PowerPoint, but this one I made in Khmer language for Cambodian people to watch. And this is for you know international uh, visitors. So click on this for you. If you, um, let's say you open this video and you copy the whole link, um, it will be fine, but uh, it just too long for me so let's go and get a shorter um, URL okay let's go to PowerPoint okay paste it over here and let's customize the color to something that you prefer okay all right so now it's the QR code for YouTube it is so easy isn't it now if this video is useful to you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share it with those people who you also want to be able to do the same thing as you do okay and see you in the next video peace out